Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Knight's Kingdom review, or construction Knight's Kingdom review, and this one is on Sir Jaco and also Sir Raskas from 2005. <coughs> so on the front of the, uh, uh, of the canister, which, hang on a sec. Okay, so... On the front of the caster, which you see a picture of Sir Jaco in a nice pose, and also so the Lego and Knights Kingdom logos, and power, armor, and shield, and also the name Sir Jaco down below, and three game cards included, and on the side of which just a little Lego logo, age recommendation is six and up, set number 8792, has 45 pieces. And on one side is just choking hazard, of course. Then onto the back, you see the Lego logo again, and or the logos again. And then another picture of Sir Jaco showing his features of what he can do, and also how to put him back in the canister. Or a little closely is how you can fit him back in the canister, and out of the four other figures minus King Matthias from this time, and Lego.com slash Knights. Which probably not active anymore, or is it? Or it would redirect you somewhere. Then barcode Lego group, and then where the components are made and Lego is that number again. And also this for this caster, which is almost similar to the previous year's casters, but except it's a little bit taller. But of course, since these are with ones which have a little more accessories like better shields and things than the previous one it's, it's, so at least it kind of makes better sense to have the canisters a little bit taller of course but also the shape is a little bit different where but still have the lego logo etched into it so you can identify it's a lego one and also has the four holes still of course but of course, still have the theme of the castle tower, but to it, but at least this is which is more triangular or hexagonal instead of uh, rectangular. But it's still pro major props to Lego for making this unique uh, form of a canister for that. And, and so that's about it with the canister. <coughs> And now onto the instruction manual, which is the same picture as on the front of the canister, but a little bit larger, of course. And front page of which, add of all the main sets there. And on the back, add for some of the system sets, and a few of which I did previously review. And then last, then there's last building steps to it, and then this little comic strip, so being the little storyline, or maybe I'll go like this. And then how to win on the online survey, and there. <coughs> but also included with this set is a little, uh, little Lego Club application type of thing. Well, that you can mail in and whatnot, but. Nowadays, if you are to join in a little subscription service, you just go online. Or mailing service, you just go online and do so, rather than sending in something. So, yeah. And also, you get this little sheet that, or so that tells how to play this card game. And if you are to read that, pause the video.
or if you already read all of it, pause the video now. And then on the other side of which is same thing but in other language, different language. But also, of course, but also do get the three cards for the game that looks quite similar to the last previous year's ones. It's, or I mean, kind of a bit the same, but, not, but with different. Uh, stats and bot and descriptions on each. And I guess that is it with that. And now on to the first one of which Jaco, also the most important character of this storyline. Which, as you see from first glance, the this wave of which quite better than the first year ones, it's, oh, which like different armoring, but at least actual armoring on them, but also not just one feature, but also one to two more features, as I'll get to in a moment. But also a little more color variety. So like the feet of which which are just about the same as your one's feet, but his which now in dark blue. And of course, like all the fig these figures, attach regular Lego pieces onto them. Or attach on like any studded surface. And then a little farther up is as you see have these all new armor pieces which do like like actual uh, metal armor that there is, but and also if I like take this off and if you notice how it's uh, connected is same exact limb pieces as the previous year, and but also this uh, which does come on most other sets in unique colors, uh, which not just silver, uh, which, and also to show is as you probably saw see on a lot of people's mocks or various mocks that, yes, they fit over regular bonicle pieces, like both to, of course, accessorize all your bonicle hero factory mocks, however you want, and, and of course, of which, great. And of course, on like so, and of course, on there quite nice securely. And as for the upper legs of which, which have the traditional piece, leg pieces, but in dark blue, and also, uh, hang on, as, and also just like last, the previous year's Jayco, but same exact armor bits to them. And as for the body, which as you see is pretty much just about like last, like the previous year's ones, but now in all silver, but and also, but unfortunately, you don't get to add little bricks and bricks and plates onto it, or no studs to put on. But, but at least that's all right. But also, you do get, but at least does have the eagle etched into it. And as for the arms, of which kind of similar to last year's ones, but also with new armor pieces, which also look like parts of a suit of armor with the bolting bolts and whatnot and of course same pieces there but the lower piece in dark blue nice change to that and does fit on well but of course but I'm sure you can figure out how to add it on to your Bonicle Hero Factory mocks if you want to <coughs> and also as for this sort of which with an alright improvement over the last Jayco one but all the way looking kind of frail like if this were for real it might be kind of frail for that but maybe that's just me but yeah and as for the other side of which as you can see which does have 
quite different shield piece, but any course, which any course these shield pieces as well, couple in particular, were reused on couple system minifig sets as well. And of course this which does have a 2x4 brick etched into it and two other studs down below. Quite cool for that. And if you notice on the other side of it, it is connected on by a regular one of those regular pieces and attached by stud connections. Now there's a little neat thing you can do with that is get these two other pieces included where you can attach onto that get one of the cards and attach the dish onto and just about almost kind of like the first years but and of course if you have another which you can just and still kind of fight against it fight and knock it off knock it off again so at least good that they kept the game going on for this second wave Now on to the face piece, or to the face and mask, or head and mask, which, as you see, is just pretty much kind of the same, or just the same as last Jayco, but at least with some in cool prints added on to it, and also the head piece of which is in dark blue rather than light gray. The flip up, same face print, but on a dark blue head piece. And face print still kind of close to minifig versions from this time, but yeah. Okay, now on to a quick uh, comparison. Okay, quick comparison is with the previous year's Jayco. Like, as you can see, same exact mask piece, but with one with printing on it which the previous didn't and also same exact face print but this was on a light gray one this is on dark blue and also has true armoring on the shoulders for this one and but not on this one and although the sword and also has a little dark blue added onto it instead of just light blue but although one, not sure why not include some white on this one, but at least it kind of worked with the King Jaco one, which was the following year, but yeah. And although the sword's kind of different for that, I think, to which I'm uh, not sure why not you give this one a golden sword, which the previous didn't. Probably just wanted to blend in with the silver armoring to it. But still, the dark blue, great improvement over that then yeah also uh, one more and as for the articulation just about the same as the last ones with the swivel head and legs all the same and arms of which also all the same but no hand or movement of course and the main feature within is is instead of just one or I mean unlike last year's ones which had just one uh, lever on the back for this switch now I got two well some of these do have two on the back so you can clash back, then clash and dash them back and forth uh, which is a little more fun than that than the previous one so that I give major props to and that's about it with Sir Jaco and now on to Sir Raskus which also major improvement over the last one and also this uh, great color scheme that I don't think we get got to see on any other sets well except for Toahaga Aruni also at this year of, in Bionicle of course and whereas for the feet and lower legs of which Quite the same as all the other figures, of course, but the armor pieces in 
dark gold, or as some would call a uh, leekon gold of Bothell, of course. But also the joint bits are in dark tan, which is quite interesting how that is. So, and then for the upper legs, which same technique as uh, previous Raskas had, but in also the upper leg bits are in dark green now. And onto his body piece, which is in pure gold for the front and does have the monkey etched in. And still not at all any studs on the chest like the previous one, but yeah. And as for the arm of which, or for the arms, quite the just about the same as Sir Jaco's, but and and it, but in green, dark green, and also gold armor piece to it, and also the uh, sword of which, which quite interesting one where it's like a traditional sword but decked out with a monkey with the tail wrapped around it. Quite cool how that is. All the and if you were to use this for mocking, you probably wouldn't notice it well, but yeah. And as for his shield of which, just about like the last one of which, where it has 2 by 4 studs in the center of this monkey symbol, and the hands and also the tail also have a stud on them, which is quite nice for that. And as for the back of which, also just like the last one. Has the two knots on it, which I'll go over later. And as for the head to end mask, also just like the quite similar to the last one, but also with some cool printing to that and same face print as the previous one. And yeah. Now for a comparison is with the previous year's Raskus, which as you can see, where it's the same kind of green, but whereas for the last one did have a dark red and yellow mixed in with the color scheme, but for this other one, which instead it's dark green and tan and gold all mixed in as well. And and of course, obviously the mask piece is the same and head prints also quite the same but the only difference is this on a dark green head piece instead of a dark gray one which I think is good and of course also do have some random bits of uh, green or dark gray limb pieces which stand out from the color scheme but at least they transition to dark green on this one yeah, but the backs are still both like regular green, of course, but yeah. And so now on to, so for the feature, main feature is with the knobs of which, where one has two different functions. One is to open, raise and lower the arm, and one is to move with one arm back and forth, of which is quite neat and interesting how that is. So you can like strike different positions with it, of which more great and fun. And for the articulation of which just felt like most of the other figures where the head swivel back and forth and this arm moving to the, in can go in different positions but not only hand movement and the legs also in different position in three positions. And also same with the other arm of course. So now on to the final verdict. So overall, these of which are quite cool sets for the time, but, it, uh, but of course, all the figures at this time quite better than the previous figure ones of which, at least like the switching of the armor bits to them, which forgot to mention that. These of which are the same as both of the previous versions, but instead are upside down positioning of course. Since, of course, keep it fresh and all. And also, great to see all these armor pieces appear on them. Oh, it's great as well. And of course, and also good to see some printings on the masks as well. And whereas, 
in the court for Raskas. You do get a little diff unique kind of of like attacking low or arm switching feature of which and of course Sir Jacobs of which which you also get on a couple of their other figures as well, but yeah. And so now if you all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.